Okay, we're going to have a look at uh, some of the water chiller blocks that I've made. So we're going to do a somewhat fake unboxing because I already know what's on the inside. But here we go. It's a triple 62 millimeter TEC water block. Well, it is once I unwrap it. So let's open that bad boy up. And there we go. So you can see this is one piece. There's no seal on it or join. You can actually see it. See the change in light? These have been baked together. So it was one. We milled the channels out of the out of here. Uh, then we baked on this top uh, part. Now the advantage of that is there is no join so it's not going to leak and it's not going to leak if it gets extremely hot or extremely cold. Well, within reason of course. So that would fit three of these. I've only got one. And it comes with integrated barbs. Now the main reason for that is if I was to provide a tapped hole for you to then screw your own uh, barbs on, A that would then create a, a rubber seal which I didn't want in this case uh, because that could melt and two it would have meant that the block had to be a lot thicker because it had to have had enough space to do the, the larger hole and then tapped it. So that is seventeen point two four ish. And I don't think that my any caliber will be long enough for that. And that's 19 long. So we'd normally have two of these bad boys. So here's another one. and put it together like that. Now that's a 5mm screw and this is a 4mm. Now most of the blocks I've done I've threaded one side enabling you to uh, apply pressure from one block to another. Now in this case I haven't done that 
the reason for that was uh, to enable you to mount it to something. So if you just apply pressure to here, then you're like, okay, I've got this massive chiller. What do I do with it? Do I just throw it in somewhere and hope it doesn't break? So the idea was to use much longer screws and actually mount it to a surface using the same holes. And obviously use some nylon slash plastic washers to help prevent the conduction of heat between both sides. Now I was going to show you these, but that's obviously the wrong size because it doesn't fit in the hole. Um, the cool thing about these is that it enables you, you obviously put the screw through the centre. And it provides that insulation at the top and also on the sides to prevent you from touching the, the, the side of the side of the, the hole. But as I said, those ones are actually slightly the wrong size, but they are very cool. And in um, some of the original water blocks that I made for 62 singles, I actually incorporated that. There we go, now it's in focus. Incorporated that in the design. So actually, on current blocks, I screw from top down to the cold plate. The original ones I did from the bottom up. The reason being is I could put one of those around the bottom of it to insulate it, but this is not supposed to be about the single 62mm block or history. It's supposed to be about these triple 62mm chillers. Now these are high flow. Obviously put that in the middle. And they were originally designed for the American oil industry. They wanted to uh, create manuals for their various... Um, well actually they were talking about weapon systems and wherever you use lubricants. And they wanted to be able to heat or cool the oil because obviously it uh, moves at different rates depending on whether it's warm or cool. And I presume it has different lubricating values because of that at, at the different temperatures. So I've, I made a bunch of these for them, which they put in their machines to heat up and cool down oils to various temperatures using TECs. Oh, I've obviously for, forgotten to mention the fact that these are made out of aluminium and they are anodized black. Which makes them look Really nice, stealth looking. So there you have it. Some water chillers. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, give us a like if you're so inclined, and um, ask some questions, see if I can answer them, I'll maybe do some videos about them, and we'll see where, where this all leads us to. Thanks guys. Shoot.